What's up, YouTube? This is going to be our guide on how to use Overquill in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, let me know about it in the comment section of the video and drop a like if you enjoyed this series and it helps out. And without further ado, let's have a look at Overquill. So, Overquill has got some pretty interesting stats. We firstly have an attack stat here as its highest stat, 115 base, and its next two highest, well, the next highest is a defense and its health and speed. So, this Pokemon can serve two main functions, in my opinion. So, I can see it being a physical attacker and a defensive wall with these stats. So, especially with health and defense, they're reasonable. I wouldn't say they're the greatest. Um, its attack stat is okay. It's nothing amazing. And its speed is kind of average, too. So, it doesn't have anything really, really, truly amazing on the stats. But let's have a look at its abilities, its typing, and what it gets. So, firstly, we've got a Dark and Poison typing which isn't too bad at all. That's actually quite good typing. Now, I'm going to be running this one, this first set, as a Sword Dance Sweeper. Let's have a look. So we got max attack and max speed Jolly Nature. So making use of its attack and its speed. So it doesn't get... It doesn't really get an amazing uh, like attack stat or speed stat. It's just okay. It does, however, have access to Sword Dance, which will give it a good uh, you know, amount of... Uh, well, at least maybe you can get one turn and get the Sword Dance up with its you know, quite unique typing. Now, it gets some moves here. We've got a Crunch for Dark and Bar Barrage, which is a new move for it. It's a Poison type move. It's physical. It is 60 base power and has a 50% chance to poison. It's like... Basically, it's like Venoshock, but it, can, uh, it has a chance the poison. So this could be good with maybe a Toxapex lead that has put Toxic Spikes down and then you could go for double base power Bar Barrage. And that would be no joke. That'd be uh, hitting pretty hard. Now, the other move I've got in there is Liquidation. Obviously, for any ground-type Pokemon, they are going to be a bit of an issue. But with Liquidation, they're going to be uh, you know, pretty nice. Now, the abilities I've got in it are Intimidate, We've got also got uh, the other ones as Swiss Swim and Poison Point. So this could well work on a rain team with its ability. Uh, one of the problems I probably have with this Pokemon is mainly its coverage. Its coverage isn't probably the greatest. Like, Poison isn't that great a coverage. And Dark, well, it's got Crunch, but that's virtually about it on the physical side. Uh, Liquidation is just there to cover against any you know, ground types and, thing, and you know, stuff like that. Uh, the Terra I've given is Terra Dark. This could have Terra Dark, Terra Poison, Terra Water. They'd all be options as well. Uh, as it's a Sword Dance sweeping set, I've given it Lumberry as an item because quite a lot of time, uh, physical sweepers or you know, Sword Dance boosting Pokemon get uh, shut down by will o -Wisp or Status. So it's always great and handy to have a Lumberry on there uh, to get rid of that. Now, you, for argument's sake, you could actually uh, run this as a Swiss Swim Pokemon as well. You could have the... I'd probably adjust it. Let's say this is a Swiss Swim now. We're going to adjust it to Adamant. And Adamant's going to give it a lot more attack. And then you've got... Uh, you probably don't have to put so much in speed there. You could probably... Uh, you could probably put a little bit, like, extra into speed, uh, sorry, into health other than speed, and that could work as, like, a, uh, a physical sweeper under the rain. So that would be nice with, like, Pelipper and stuff like that if you are running a rain team. And, yeah, uh, that's another option that you could uh, actually use this for. The next option I think that it's probably going to work really well is, is a defensive wall because 85, we've got 85 health here and 95 defense, which makes it pretty bulky. And especially with Intimidate, which is going to make a, make it very hard for physical attackers to actually get through this. Now, I I feel like Intimidate's going to be best for a defensive wall. And we've got Rocky Helmet as the item. Uh, for argument's sake, you could also have Black Sludge, but depending on what you're tearing into. I actually gave this one Terra Flying because... I thought it's uh, very... Uh, well, it's weak to ground type moves. So I thought Terra Flying would be quite a good option then. So if you had like Black Sludge, well, then you'd be hurting yourself after you tear it. So I just gave it Rocky Helmet uh, for some extra uh, like just chip damage and stuff like that for those contacting moves. Now, this is sort of like a support style set. So we've got Toxic Spikes. It actually gets Haze, which is cool. So we've got Toxic Spikes and Haze, which is all right. And we've got Barbarage and Crunch. So Barbarage and Crunch are going to be the moves you're going to see on it pretty much all the time because that's its best physical moves that it can use. Another fun little item you might be able to make use of here is Red Card. So I was thinking if you had Red Card on it, 
say you set up a toxic spikes or a layer of toxic spikes, and then you got the, uh, your opponent hit you with an attacking move and you survive, red card would swap them out to a random Pokemon, and then you'd be able to get double base power on your Barbara. So that's another little option you could maybe try there. Um, we'll go over, we'll probably go over some more like uh, support style moves, but I feel like these ones are the best ones you can get. Um, it also gets spikes as well. That's another one. That'll probably be the other one I suggest, like a spikes and toxic spikes kind of set there. Another move that it can actually learn is self destruct, but that's sort of like you get all your spikes and toxic spikes on the field, and then you just go boom on the, on there. So that could be like a, a just a way of getting it off the field and having the uh, you know putting them on there. So it's sort of like your typical uh, lead. Um, for some high base power, if you want to just attack, you could. But, you know, 115 base and you know, still with uh, max health and max defense, still got a decent amount of attack. So that's maybe another move you could put on there if you uh, just want to get it off the field. I'm trying to think of some other options. But, uh, yeah, this Pokemon is a little bit limited in the moves that it learns. And that's kind of one of its problems. It's, it's definitely not a bad Pokemon, but it's definitely not, nothing like super amazing. All right, let's have a look at a Rain Sweeper. So I had to run one of these. Um, this one is going to be out of nature. Now, as I said before, you could potentially put max health on this if you really wanted to. So you could be like, let's put the last four in uh, speed. And that's virtually going to outspeed absolutely everything. Except for like really, really fast Pokemon or Choice Scarf Pokemon. You might want to put like a little bit of extra in speed, but... Uh, Sort of like what 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 else, like whatever you sort of like want to do there. If you want to put a little bit of extra speed like that, depending on what you want to outpace, you know what rule set you're playing. I'm sort of just doing this as a general build. So we've got um, a Swift Spin Sweeper. So we've got Life Orb as the item for some extra damage output. I've given it Adamant, so it's going to be hitting, you know, uh, at its peak there. We've got Gunk Shot as an extra option over Bar Barrage. Gunk Shot is. Well, I mean, it's going to be better in a lot of ways because you instantly have that 120 base power. So that's what you've got over Bar Barrage. However, you've got a bit of a shaky accuracy. So I feel like it's mostly all around probably better because Bar Barrage kind of relies on that um, status, poison status. So if you don't have that or that status, it's it's not going to be very powerful. So if you've got Gung Shot, you've got immediate power. Sure, you might miss here and there, but... I still feel like overall that it's probably a bit better than Barbarage on a sweeping set. Unless you've got like dedicated toxic spikes on the field or you've got like those, uh, you know, one or two Pokemon with toxic spikes, which probably would be a waste having two. But I don't know. It's like you have to be some very good setup on your team to be able to, you know, keep getting that poison. Especially if your opponent has a poison type as well. It makes it very, very difficult to lay toxic spikes down because then you need to get rid of them and it can be uh, difficult. So I've got Waterfall here. So since I have a Waterfall, it's for flinching, obviously. I could give it Liquidation, but I felt like fl like if it was gonna if it was gonna faint something, it's gonna probably faint it if it uses waterfall or liquidation. Um, so I've given it waterfall there for flinching. We've got terror type water for any ground types. I feel like that's quite a good terror type. And we've got crunch, and I thought it'd be interesting because it actually gets destiny bond. So uh, with Swift Swim, you're generally going first. So say if you've got a lot of health. Uh, left and you're versing your opponent and you're thinking well I'm probably not going to be able to faint them but how about we'll throw a destiny bond down and that'll be like a, a double KO so that could be very very useful I feel like this could be o definitely okay in uh, rain teams whether you're running singles or doubles so that is uh, a definite option there um, the EV spread, as I said, but that's generally what I would do, something like this. You probably don't, like I said, you probably don't need to put the whole lot into speed. So, there we go. Some other options. Yeah, not really. It's kind of the similar as uh, other set. So, I'll leave it as a Swiss swim. So, there you go. Some, uh, little options. Um, you could have, uh, I was thinking you could have, like, Terra. Yeah, you could have Terra flying as well. Just for Swiss swim, I think it works best with Terra water. Because you're going to get a, uh, a very, very nice boost there from your, um, you know, going into Terra Water and uh, from Waterfall. And if you've got rain on the field already, you're going to get like that double boost. So that will be very good with stuff like Pelipa, as I've already mentioned. Next move set here we've got, we're going to try and make use of Fell Stinger. It's a lot more gimmicky than like a straight up Sword Dance or just Physical Attacker, but we'll have a look at it anyway. So I've given this one Heavy Duty Boots as the item, which is going to be uh, working okay. Um, for a Pokemon like this. And we've got Max Attack and Max Speed, Jolly Nature. So I've got Intimidate. Intimidate is virtually going to be the main ability I see on this. 
Unless you're running a dedicated Swift Swim team, not many people are really going to probably bother too much with Poison Point. Unless they want a Poison Point and Bar Barrage combination, but I feel like that's outclassed by just having Intimidate and setting up Toxic Spikes on the field. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's more of a, a gimmicky strategy. So, we've got Bar Barrage Crunch, which is on virtually every physical set, and I've got Aquatel for a little bit more base power. You could put Liquidation on there if you like. And we've got... um. We've got Fell Stinger. So Fell Stinger is a cool move. If you can fight the opponent, you get a plus three in attack, which sort of gives you an option to not have Sword Dance. But the trick is you have to have the opponent, you know, faint to Fell Stinger, which can be difficult because Fell Stinger itself is not a very powerful move. So that's why I've suggested if you're going to run that, have uh, Terror Bug. So obviously we're going into more meme territory here, but... If you can get that, our uh, Terra Bug, you can get yourself a nice plus three in attack. This will probably draw out like other, this could draw out like a lot of other, like maybe like rock Pokemon. So then you could go for Aquatail and get some super effective damage. And plus three, it's going to be doing like a lot of uh, attack, which is pretty good. And you've got your heavy duty boots there, so you're going to be immune to like stuff like a uh, sticky web or whatever. So that's going to be fairly handy. Uh, intimidate once again you could do that or you could even have Swiss Swim if you wanted to if you wanted to run this on a rain team actually you could run it on a rain team because it's got Aquatel there um, yeah so you could go ahead and uh, try that on a rain team too so this one is oh th I sort of did one similar to this earlier on I was sort of going over but this is more like focus on just getting toxic spikes and spikes up and going boom uh, the li little bit of a difference is I've got actually got attack EVs here rather than uh, defensive EVs. So I've got the Toxic Spikes and Spikes. And I'm going to make sure that Self-Destruct really does hit hard there. So you could even go... Hmm. You could even go like Terra Normal. So <laughs> a Terra Normal Self-Destruct with a Normal Gem is going to be doing like lots and lots of damage for sure. And you could uh, really put a dent in a defensive Pokemon too. And then you've set your Toxic Spikes up and, you know, uh, just helped out your team. Um, crunch as well as the other move, or you know, I, I just gave up self destruct to bar barrage. But you get a bar barrage and they have crunch. That's another one. But I, I sort of thought that it'd be better having self destruct over over bar barrage because that way you'd at least be able to hit the steel type Pokemon and stuff like that if you're trying to do something a bit different. So there you go. A entry has his uh, boom over Quill set. Uh, a little bit of fun. Uh, now we've got a, a bit of a Pip Nightmare uh, special, a meme here. So we've got a special Overquill. Let's have a look at this one. So it really has no way of boosting its uh, terrible special attack. So how about we use the move Acupressure? So Acupressure randomly raises a stat uh, or an ally by two, which means you could try and use this in doubles. And I'm going to go over a doubles uh, or VGC sort of strategy very, very soon. And I actually got not a bad set or a couple of sets so we can sort of have a look at them. So this one is a max special attack and max speed set with modest nature. I really had to give it modest because, well, I mean, 60, 65 base special attack is, is rubbish, right? So I've given it Poison Bar for some more damage output there on uh, Venno Shock. We got Poison Point. We really, 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 really want to have the opponent of Poison, as you can see. So obviously this would be coupled with another Pokemon that's setting up Toxic Spikes on the field. So once they're up, you can sort of like go ahead and swap this in and go for Aqua Pressure. And I mean, if you get a, like a special attack boost and then you know, like plus two and then you start using Venoshock, it's going to be hitting like really, really hard. And also I quite like it because it's got Hex as well. So Hex can get a double base boost as well on top of that. So that could be really, really cool uh, to get a boost from the Hex. And not only the Venoshock, but the Hex at the same time. And I've given it Dark Pulse as well for some flinches. Now I've got two Terra types I'd like to run with this. So there's Terra type Dark, of course, with Dark Pulse. And I also thought you could run Terra type Ghost. So Terra type Ghost would power up the uh, Hex. So that way, uh, either you got either a double base power from Hex or Venoshock. So Venoshock hitting 130 base power and same as Hex. So they're going to be hitting pretty hard. But of course, you'd have to get a special attack drop. So it's a very, very luck base set. But it could be lots of fun to use if you want to play around with some, uh, some meme sets for sure. And you could give it max speed if you wanted to, but man, like you lose out on a lot of special attacks. So maybe the only reason to do that would be to get some extra flinches from Dart Poles. You know, that's going to be about it if you want to try it a fun set. Okay, let's have a look at some, uh, some, some like a doubles build there. Not Quillfish. They're very similar, Pokemon. I will do a Quillfish guide as well. I'll probably do one on like normal Quillfish and uh, Quillfish Shizu like later on and stuff like that. 
but yeah, I like to sort of cover all of them. So we've got Overquilt. Now we want to do a double set. So let's have a look at that. Firstly, I feel like a defensive wall could work quite good for doubles. So we want to go with Intimidate because that's going to be a very good move. And let's build this very, very defensive, like extremely defensive. So we'll go Impish. So Max Elf Impish. Yep. I don't know. Like you could have... You could have Black Sludge on this. That could be an option. So I'm thinking like Helping Hand. Was that good Helping Hand? No, no Helping Hand. That would have been that would have been nice. So we got Acker Pressure for start. So Acker Pressure is going to randomly raise a stat uh, of yourself or the allies. That could be a fun move to use in our know, like doubles here. Now, we, I, I guess you'd probably give it its two main stab moves. I'm just going to check if there's anything else you, you could possibly use here. I mean, so, actually, self-destruct is quite a... Is, is actually could become a decent option uh, in doubles. It's 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 probably not going to hit, like, super-duper hard, but like maybe you could have that normal gem on there for some extra damage. I'm trying to think of some other status moves you could possibly give this. I was thinking he'd be better at support. Um, we, we could have gone for a sweeping set in a second. Um, I, I'm not saying that wouldn't work, but... I'm just thinking about this. It's got rain dance. It can set up its own rain dance. Yeah, got haze. I mean, I'd I'd probably I'd probably give it like a uh, either a support set or a sweeping set. So you'd probably just give it its normal like moves there, um, something along those lines. If you want on defensive, that could absolutely work for sure. Let's say like a sweeping one. I'm just going to use one of these ones already. I've got as a, a base. So, this wouldn't be bad. So, I'd, I'd probably couple this with, like, like Pelipper or something like that. So, like, Pelipper with uh, Drizzle. So, you've got that going, uh, like, as a alongside uh, sort of thing. So, then, yeah, you could just run something similar to this, like Gunk Shot. Uh, you don't have to go Destiny Bond either. I just put that on there. I thought that was quite a, a interesting, unique move that they've got. But, yeah, that's uh, another option that you can use. Or if you want to make it set its own rain up, you can have rain dance at the same time. So I see this could uh, definitely work in doubles as well. I, it's probably not an amazing doubles Pokemon. It's, it's, it's sort of like, I don't know, I feel like it could be kind of outclassed by like lots of other things. But you could run these double sets on here as well. Uh, sorry, these defensive sets. Or like I say, like a physical sweeping set. I don't think any of the entry hazards kind of sets are going to be any useful at all in doubles because it's uh, yeah, it's uh, way too slow for that sort of play. Let me just check what else what it's got here. Yeah, there's there's not really too much else. You could just have something like self destruct on there if you really wanted to, and you could have you know you could have your partner like Pelipper could have like you know protect or whatever like that. And then you could go for like any uh, self destruct um, as as a last sort of minute thing. And that could be uh, handy for some damage, or yeah, Terra Normal. That could absolutely be uh, absolutely work as well. So get rid of the uh, spikes, though. We'll put on just as uh, normal moves here, like Bar Barrage and uh, got Crunch already. I think mean, Acro Pressure could be cool. Like Acro Pressure could be kind of a, a, a neat move to have. But if you're probably running it in a, a, a like a like a I don't know, let's say Waterfall, and we could go Terra Normal or Terra Water if you're running on a uh, a Swift Swim team. And I'd, I might put a little, I, I'd put probably a little bit into speed, maybe 60 at the speed or something like that. So yeah, uh, that's uh, pretty much it for Overcool. Now, some good counters for Overcool. I mean, Toxapex just comes to my mind like straight away because like it's obviously going to resist its poison moves. It's going to absorb the toxic spikes. It's going to be able to sponge any water type moves. It really can't do much to Toxapex unless it's got like a ground type move, which it doesn't really. So it'd be forced to go for... A, uh, a Terra. Uh, another Pokemon which could be a real pain for it could be Don Dozo because Don Dozo is just so bulky. Uh, it also is unaware and it can also heal itself off with Rest Sleep Talk because they tend to run Rest Sleep Talk curse sets or anything along those lines. So there's some good counters for it for sure. Um, teammates. So we've already mentioned doubles if you want to run it in the rain. A uh, good one there would be uh, Pelipper. Now I'm thinking about... Uh, Wolverine. So any flying type Pokemon would be good. I mean, the good thing about its typing is it's dark and poison. So that's kind of that's kind of nice typing uh, for sure there. So we've got dark and poison. So maybe you've got like Landorus. You've got like Corviknight, Dragonite, Namorous. Pelipper is another one as well. So there's like quite a lot of Pokemon depending on what, uh, you know, rule set you're actually playing there. There's like a heap of them. So, but yes, good typing, but... Uh, 
Unfortunately, I wish it just got like a couple more moves. Let's do a last little minute look over all of its moves here. So we'll bring up the status move. So agility is another one too. You could give it agility on that sweeping set. If you wanted to like, I don't know, didn't want to use rain, you wanted to use intimidate instead, you could use that. Uh, we got like uh, Destiny Bond Haze, we've gone over that Rest Sleep Talker. Look, it could, it could be an okay Rest Sleep Talker. Let's have a look here. So say if he had like, I wish it got knockoff. A great move that, it, I wish that it had knockoff because it'd be so much better than Crunch. So yeah, they make a great utility move. But you go have something like this, like Bar Barrage and then Crunch. Like I could definitely see that working for sure because that way you could uh, just be really, really tanky, you know? I, 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 prob I probably wouldn't even like terror this thing. So like something like this, Intimidate, uh, sorry. Yeah, Intimidate the... Uh, and just def a defensive wall with a sleep talk. That could be like a real pain in the ass to actually uh, fank that, you know. Um, obviously, uh, obviously it's got its counters. I'm not saying it doesn't, but that would serve well on uh, as a defensive wall on quite a few teams, especially if there was some um, toxic spikes on the field. Uh, Bar Barrage would be hitting uh, very, very hard. Crunch is not a bad move too, because it has a chance to drop the opponent's defense by 20%. So if you got yourself into a store wall, it would probably eventually win because it would be getting those uh, defensive drops and stuff like that. Um, let me just bring it up again. And yeah, so where are we up to here? So we had uh, Taunt. I don't really think it's going to be that great a Taunt Pokemon. It, it's, it's okay. I feel like with a Taunt Pokemon, you need to be faster most of the time. I always like fast Taunt Pokemon, in my opinion. Uh, we got Toxic, Toxic Spikes. Yeah, there's not too much else here. You got like some scummy stuff like Minimize and, you know, uh, Stockpile. We might be able to make like a stalling set, but outside of that, there's not too much. Let's bring its physical moves up here. We've gone over virtually all of these moves here. Um, Facade, yeah, that's more gimmicky. But yeah, uh, we've gone over pretty much everything here. Um, the only fighting move it does get that's not Terror is Reversal, but you have to go on one health, and I, I don't think that'd be... All that good. Oh, Pin Missile. I always thought this could be a bug Pokemon too, like a bug typing. But yeah, uh, you got Flail. So you might be able to go for a Flail reversal strategy on one health or something like that. But I feel it sort of lacks a speed unless you're running like a Swift Swing one. So yeah, uh, let's have a look at its special moves. If you want to check out its amazing special moves. So I mean, we for, 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 it actually has more special potential uh it's special potential in uh, and uh than du like in doubles you know i wish i wish i had better special that because you absolutely could give this a go on doubles so we've got like surf and blizzard at least so that's that's something um that would be okay for like a a, a doubles kind of set at least so you've got some okay moves there but yeah it, it's special attack really is this isn't high enough yeah i see win uh so like it's got some like kind of Okay stuff for doubles, but um, to sum this up, I feel like Overcoil is a nice defensive wall for sure. It, it's got good typing for that. Uh, the thing I find about it is it's it's special bulk is kind of bad. Like 65 base is, is kind of bad, so you might have to run an Assault Vest if you want to run like a sweeping set. Um, it, it has a lot of options to set up uh, like support, like toxic spikes or spikes and things like that. But its uh, overall coverage isn't really amazing either. And poison isn't the greatest in the world, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't really have amazing uh, dark type moves outside of crunch. If it had knockoff, that'd be really, really good. But yeah, a defensive wall, I've seen it being used in for sure. Lots of... Um, you know, lots of entry hazards. It's got uh, Barb Rudge works really nicely with that. So I said that being pretty good. Some nice bulk. Great typing. Uh, its health and defense is not too bad either. Not too shabby at all. Um, it gets some pretty cool status moves, like uh, support moves for sure. As a, as a sweeper, I'd say it's okay. It's nothing out of this world. Um, I see it working quite well on a Swiss Swim team maybe, where it's not going to be outsped. And it's going to be able to hit pretty hard. This the thing is, it's, once again, it's coverage. So... Yeah, outside of a poison and a dark type move, it sort of has to, it almost has to rely on having a water move there, so to hit its weakness. But anyway, uh, that's about it for Overkill. If you've got any more sets you'd, uh, you think work on Overkill, maybe something I missed or something you used, put it below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, I've helped it, uh, found it helpful, make sure you drop a like, and I'll catch you next time. Peace out, people.